And joining us now for more context and analysis on Puerto Rico's ongoing power struggles is Manuel Laboy Rivera, the executive director for CORE 3, which is the Central Office of Recovery, Reconstruction and Resiliency. Manuel, we thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, let's get right to it. Uh, Puerto Rico is in the dark for the most part right now. Once again, it's due to a hurricane, but power's not been reliable on the island since Maria five years ago. I'm sure it's not an easy task, but we are five years later at this point. Why is it so difficult for a more stable power grid to be constructed? Uh, first of all, right now we are focused on the emergency response uh, to save life, uh, to ensure that you know we protect property and public safety. So that is the focus uh, on the efforts right now due to Hurricane Fiona. But to your question, uh, we got to understand that um, prior to 2021, there were many challenges. Uh, associated with these processes related to, to FEMA and the federal government. Uh, it, there was uncertainty about the rules that needed to be followed. Uh, it was also focused, as a matter of fact, on the emergency work back uh, related to Irma and Maria. And then finally, after 2021, uh, we were able to work with FEMA and the current federal government to lift restrictions. Uh, certain flexibilities that help us now start moving forward with the recovery. And so the recovery process, you're saying, in general, takes years. I mean, is that just the traditional red tape that people have to endure? Well, normally it does take some time, but there was a lot of red tape before. Uh, there were restrictions between 2017 and 2020. And back then, you know, most of the work was for temporary uh, measures and emergency measures. Again, when, when Governor Pierluisi took office in 2021 and I started serving in Court 3, things started to, you know, to change towards the right direction. The current federal government helped us lift in restrictions. They gave us all the support and we started moving projects towards construction. Uh, and there was other challenges associated with the way the FEMA uh, grants work. We got to also remind people that, you know, it's not that they get don't give us the money. It's on the reimbursement basis. So we got to spend money first and then, you know, we ask for reimbursement. And Puerto Rico was also going through bankruptcy and there was limited cash. So there was a number of things that, you know, prohibited Puerto Rico to move, to move faster. And, and man, well, of course, you've seen the anti-Luma protests firsthand. Even Bad Bunny, who's arguably the largest global superstar right now, has a song which translated to English means blackout. He's calling for Luma Energy to go. As someone who lives on the island, do you think that Luma is doing a good job? Well, my role is to ensure that Luma executes the reconstruction projects that are funded with FEMA funding related to disaster recovery. That's my primary function. And we are the entity, Core 3, that provides oversight, that ensures that the FEMA funds are used correctly in compliance and with a sense of urgency, and that the work is done uh, in a matter that you know will provide the resiliency that we want for Puerto Rico, uh, not only now, but also for the future. So that's our role. And I can tell you that we have the controls. We have the controls, we have the processes to ensure that the projects are done right and that are done in compliance, and that's our focus. And lastly, I just want to go back to what you said earlier about Fiona setting the path to recovery back. Uh, hurricanes, of course, happen in the, the Caribbean every year. Are there contingency plans in the future for these kinds of natural disasters when rebuilding? Well, we have from a very catastrophic situation that happened in 2017, which was Maria, and then later on you have the earthquakes and the global pandemic. From those catastrophic and sad events, we have this golden opportunity to rebuild and to rebuild better. That's the focus of Con3. And we were making progress prior to Fiona. You know, we had a good plan. We have a strategy. We were able to work with FEMA to ensure that finally the reconstruction started to take off. Now with the Fiona situation, certainly we have to reevaluate. And again, the focus right now is responding to the emergency, saving lives and stabilizing the situation. Manuel Laboy Rivera, the executive director for Core 3 in Puerto Rico, thank you so much for your time. And of course, uh, our thoughts and, and prayers remain with the people of, of Puerto Rico. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.